Well, we have another recent example of the Antichrist Pope of Rome yoking up with the Antichrist false religion of Islam. And for those of you who don't know, Rome is the mom of Islam. The uh, false religion of Islam was created by Augustinian monks. Muhammad, the false prophet Muhammad, was influenced by Augustinian monks. The Roman Catholic Church created the false religion of Islam, the satanic bloody false religion of Islam, to persecute the Middle Eastern Christians and the North African Christians. So it's not surprising that the Pope would be yoking up with Islam, because, again, Rome is the model of Islam. I'm going to read to you this article from the religionnews.com about the Pope's yoking up with the false Antichrist religion of Islam. Roman Catholicism and Islam are both false uh, pagan Antichrist religions. So let's get right into this. So it's not surprising, I'll just point that out. It's not surprising that Allah, the god, the god of Islam, Allah, is essentially an Arabian moon god. And of course the goddess of Catholicism, the Virgin Mary, is the queen of heaven, the Babylonian goddess queen of heaven, described in Jeremiah chapter 44, verse, I think it's verse 17 to 25, if I'm not mistaken, 17 to 25, if I'm not mistaken. But let's get right into this. Religionnews.com. Uh, despite the naysayers who opposed the Pope's visit, Pope Francis' pilgrimage to Iraq went beyond expectations in achieving three goals of his trip, showing pastoral solidarity with his suffering Christian flock, Catholic pagans, not Christians, calling for peace and reconciliation with the Iraqi people, and establishing improved, improved relations between Christians and Muslims, Catholic pagans and Muslims, not Bible-believing Christians and Muslims. Bible-believing Christians preach the gospel of the grace of God, Acts 20:24, 20, to Muslims, and call them out of their satanic false religion of Islam and away from their pagan Arabian moon god Allah and towards salvation by Jesus Christ. See 1 Corinthians 15:1 through 4 for the, the gospel being defined. So, in terms of relations between Christians and Muslims, you preach the gospel to Muslims. You give them the gospel. You call them out of their false satanic religion of Islam and towards Jesus Christ. But he means Catholic pagans and Muslims, because Muslims and Catholics are both pagans that worship pagan gods. In the run up to the trip, many in and outside the Vatican warned that, that the visit was not timely. For they feared for the Pope's security and feared that the visit, uh, the visit's various events would be hives of COVID infections. Despite the risks Iraqis wanted him to come, Popes going back to St. John Paul II have tried unsuccessfully to visit Iraq. This has not been probably, or and probably never will be, a good time to visit Iraq. Or there has not been, sorry, there has not been. Not good at reading on a computer. Inside Iraq, it was harder to find people opposing the papal visit. Uh, the government wanted to show by hosting such a high profile world leader that Iraq is safe and open for business. Christians wanted their pastor to comfort them and showcase their great suffering. Muslims wanted him. Uh, because they see him as someone who respects Islam and promotes reconciliation and peace. Long after the COVID-19 pandemic is forgotten, Christians and Muslims will look back at the papacy of Francis as a turning point in their relationship. After the Second Vatican Council in 1962-1965, popes began reaching out to, uh, to dialogue with Muslims. John Paul II met and prayed with Muslims, although Pope Benedict's uh, miss missteps temporarily interrupted dialogue. Francis has been extremely successful in improving relations. Francis hopes that rather than being part of the problem, religion can become part of the solution in the Middle East. At Ur, the birthplace of Abraham, he told uh, an interreligious gathering, Hostil quote, hostility, extremism, and violence are not born of a religious heart, they are betrayals of religion. Yeah, coming from the guy who, who heads the, the Catholic Church, the church that has killed millions of true Bible believing Christians that rejected the heresies and false doctrines and man made traditions of the papacy. Coming from them. Oh, oh, you know, don't, don't, um, uh, hostility, extremism, and violence are not born of a religious heart. Hostility, extremism, and violence come from Roman Catholicism. They're bloody inquisitions, they're bloody crusades against Bible believing Christians who rejected the heresies and false doctrines of the Antichrist papacy. Yeah, I mean, ridiculous. It's insanity. Uh, continuing, for most Iraqis, the high point of the Pope's visit was his 45-minute meeting with the Grand Ayatollah Ali al sistani uh, in Na I can't say some of these Muslim names, hard to pronounce. I do apologize, they're hard to pronounce. The third holiest pilgrimage site, uh, the third holiest pilgrimage site for Shiite Muslims after Mecca and Medina. al sistani 
uh, was almost never meet, sorry, who almost never meets with foreign dignitaries, was considered is considered the most influential leader of Shiite Muslims. Francis has already met with leading Sunni Muslims such as such as Sheikh Ahmed Al Taib, uh, the Grand Imam of Al Azhar in Egypt. Uh, with whom in 2019 he signed a document on human fraternity, reaching out to both Muslim communities has been a priority for the Pope. Many had hoped that the Pope and al Sistani would also sign a joint agreement statement. They didn't, but doors uh, have been open for future talks and dialogue. In any case, a picture is worth a thousand words. After the meeting, the, the Vatican said that the Pope had, quote, stressed the importance of cooperation and friendship between re the religious communities for contributing through the cultivation of mutual respect and dialogue to the good of Iraq, the region, and the entire human family. Yeah, sure, Islam and Roman Catholicism are the two bloodiest religions. I mean, next to Hinduism, because Hinduism is also pretty blood bloody, too. Uh, read some of the Hindu scriptures. I have articles on my blog about Hindu scriptures openly calling for violence against non-Hindus. Hinduism is also a violent, bloody religion, contrary to what it's portrayed as as peaceful and pluralistic. But, yeah, Islam and Roman Catholicism and Hinduism, three violent, bloody religions, all portrayed as peaceful. Yeah, sure. Don't be deceived by all this garbage. Uh, again, Rome is a mom of Islam. Roman Catholicism is ancient Baal worship, and Islam is also ancient Baal worship, too. So, don't be deceived. Uh, this is just more proof that Rome is a model of Islam. So, anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.